Hey guys, what's up? Um, this is Chris Gory back, and today I'm doing a little bit of a waterproofing video on my Axial SEX10. Uh, so here's my chassis. It's a stock chassis, stock motor, everything. Um, there's the wheels. They're called the um rip saws, and I have some. Zip ties over there, double sided tape, um, like an automatic screwdriver, so I can get the parts undone more quickly. Um, so it's just like a rolling chassis right now, pretty much with the motor on it. So, picked up some plastic dip today at Home Depot. It's like six bucks for a, let's see, 14.5 ounce can. Uh, there's some of the screws. Now, here's how I'm waterproofing stuff. So, if you look at this servo, um, this is, like, the stock servo. And you can see it has, like, a black coating over it. That's the Plasti Dip. And all the way up the wire is just about an inch. Um, there it is on the other end. You want to make sure you don't, uh, cover the horn because of the horn. Uh, if you do cover it, it'll become very, like, slippery, so the, um, so the servo horn won't actually, like, grip onto it, and it'll just slip, uh, which you obviously don't want. Um, let me take this off real quick. There's my battery. I'm just, it's a nickel metal hydrate, so I don't have to worry about it in the first place, but I put some plastic up on each of the ends. Uh, just so no water would get in there. There's the little tiny receiver box. And then there's the ESC. You guys can see in there. Got plastic all over it. Just not in the heat fins because those are what disperses the heat. So let me put this up right here. So right here, um, it's waterproofing. Um, the electronics is a pretty easy task oh, whoops my bad so as i said a second ago uh waterproofing is a pretty easy task as long as you have the as long as you have the right tools and you know how to do it um so here's the uh a s3 axial digital servo um with some plasti dip on it now for the servo once you totally dunk it in plasti dip um, let's get out the plastic dip again. Take a toothpick, just a normal handy dandy toothpick. Um, and if you can see in the light, you see how the ridges, um, still aren't totally filled in. That's what you're going for. That's what you want to fill in. So you take the toothpick, and you just dunk it in the plastic dip, and you just slather it on right where you need it on the, um, on the openings of the cracks just to make it nice and um waterproof now this is definitely going to void your warranty uh cracking the shell open and adding stuff in also um under this i put in an o-ring just to help keep out the water but you don't really need to worry about that part because um the grease on it already comes like pretty much waterproof and then here on the other side, gotta do it. Now this has uh takes about four hours to dry. It said on the can, and it it seems really nasty and bulky when you first um when you first put it on, but over time it creates a um a nice skin sort of layer that's just tight over it. Uh, that allows it to go back to where it was originally placed and also um, fit. So you don't have to worry about uh, drumming out anything. It's always going to fit. So then I'll let that sit for a minute. Ooh. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that's my rustler in the background. Here, let me shut it off. There's the red light. Need to charge this thing. Uh, when I picked up 
zip ties today. I used them to make snow tires as you saw in that other video. They work exceptionally well. So I would definitely recommend doing that or just buying uh, snow tires if you have the money. But if you don't, do that. <sighs> okay, so the little receiver, let's see if I can get you guys to see that better. Um, yeah. Alright, cool. So, that's pretty much it. There's my axial honcho. I'll have that for you guys later today, uh, or tomorrow, depending on how quickly I get this to dry, because, um, since it takes four hours, and it's about, like, one or two o'clock, it might be dark out. So, I'll try out the LEDs, but that might not be good enough for you guys. Alright, thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, tell me what I could do better in my next video. Or, if it's good as it is, as it is just leave that in the comments. Peace out.